are hilarious. There was a girl on TikTok. She says that she went to high school with me and she dropped a video uh, basically calling me a fraud and a hurt fraud, though, because of what I lived through in high school. This, again, is a reaction. There's been tons of TikTok videos that are being made by individuals because of my George Floyd documentary. It's very problematic to tell the truth. And so now the media is platforming anyone and anything that is against Candace Owens. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. I don't want to be a part of this culture. Um, you can stick around if you want. You can go watch the original video for context. I got something to say to Candace. She's probably never going to see this, but I just want to say my piece. See it. Hey, Candace. Hey, girl. <laughs> you remember high school? I remember high school. It was it was quite a while ago. It was like 15 years ago. You remember 2007? I remember 2007. I yeah. Um... I remember some very horrible things happening to you in 2007 and some very racist white children called you, including the mayor's son, um, and said some very racist things to you and threatened your life. That should have never happened to you. That was terrible. Um, I remember you sued the school board for that. You did? I remember because everybody was talking about it. My family was talking about it. My grandma was calling up your grandma. Uh, the entire school, school system was talking about it. It was a huge deal. Because the mayor's son was involved. And you had the NAACP backing you up when that happened. And they got you your settlement. You sh I, think, I, I think you should have gotten more. Because I am always ready to let racists' pockets bleed. But regardless, NAACP backed you up. The black community backed you up. Wow. This is a compelling story. It's, it's a compelling story that in high school, I received some racist messages from some powerful Democrats' son. Um, it's compelling. And the NAACP helped me get a settlement. And you know what? I, I have no idea who this person is that made the TikTok video, but I have to be honest, I do remember this story. In fact, I remember it so well, so well, that it's chapter two of my book. <laughs> this girl. Of course, journalists never fact check whether or not she went to school with me. Nobody cares, right? Somebody that is on TikTok, where we all go to get our information now, right? Saying that she went to school with me, that her grandma called me. Well, I'm not going to be able to fact check that because my grandmother's been dead since 2013. But this girl remembers this. I have no idea who this human being is. I messaged four people that I went to high school with and said, does anybody recognize this girl? from the class of 2007 in Stanford High, and everyone came back and said no, okay? I can tell you definitively, she never was in a class with me in 2007 in Stanford High School. She, at the very least, was not in a class with me all throughout school. And yet she makes videos on TikTok and it gets millions of views and people go, oh my gosh, she brought up the NAACP. The NAACP was involved. Oh, what I can confirm is that this girl read my book. Yeah, you're right. The NAACP was involved. They never spoke to me, but they showed up at my school with cameras because they wanted to fundraise off of a girl that had suffered through something that was very real. It's actually the reason that I am conservative. It's the reason why I stand up against these race hustlers like the NAACP, because for me, it's real. They used me, they lied, and they never checked up with me. It was all about getting headlines. And so you are not breaking any stories, but I am glad that unlike the people that shared this video, you actually read. Again, chapter two of my book, Blackout. It's been on sale for the last two years. I suggest everybody else go read it and get up on that story.